Welcome to episode 117 of the Clarity Compressed podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today we're going to talk about why people tend to freak out. We're making our way through the fog of life and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. (laughs) Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. All right, the moment of clarity this week is that there's a whole lot of toilet paper at the grocery store. I don't know if this depends on where you live, but I just went shopping and there are mountains and mountains of toilet paper. And the reason that's the moment of clarity is because just a few weeks ago, we thought that that would never end. But guess what? Things come back around. And maybe we were afraid of things that we shouldn't have been afraid of because we let panic take over. So we're all gonna be okay. We all have toilet paper, so we're fine. So the moment of clarity is that there's just a lot of toilet paper. Remember when you thought it was never coming back well? You were wrong, so don't panic over everything. I'm so excited for what he's gonna show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's pick. Okay, Paul's pick for this week is a food item. We've never done a food item before, and not only is this product named after how my wife refers to me, it's called Heavenly Hugs. This is an amazing snack food, and if you're like me, you're a little bit health conscious, you want a snack during the day um, that isn't potato chips, which I will eat a whole bag of in one sitting, this is an awesome snack. It's called Heavenly Hunks. They're 110 calories a piece and they are made of really healthy ingredients. They're these little, I don't know if you can see in the light, they're these little cubes and it's like oats and it actually I think it tastes like cookie dough. If you can imagine something healthy tasting like cookie dough. So that's my pick for this week. Heavenly Hunks is my favorite coat snack. So a little story about today's podcast. Um, We're gonna show it, if you're watching, I set up an amazing, nice shot. I wanna try to change, I wanted to try and change it up because who likes watching boring things? Um, And we're all kind of stuck at home, similar backgrounds, and I know we've had some guests, but I wanted to give it a little flavor, so I made this nice setup outside with a beautiful view in the back. Um, I actually brought lights outside to make it a little more interesting. And I recorded a podcast, and then I got in and about to upload it to our editor, Brian, and realized the audio was terrible. I mean, like, beyond terrible, like, unlistenable, terrible, and I couldn't figure out why. And then it hit me. If you're watching, you can see this. So there's this little box that goes, and I clipped into my shirt so that the sound would be transmitted to a transmitter on the camera. I got it in, listened to it, couldn't figure out why it sounded terrible, and then I realized there's this little red cable that needs to be connected from the receiver on top of the camera into the camera. Therefore, the whole thing was recorded using just the camera audio and it was disgusting. And so I would not let you hear it. I had to come re-record the podcast. It was at the end of a 12 hour day yesterday. I was exhausted. So I had to do it the next day. Um, But even so, I had a cup of tea out there. I was gonna share a cup of tea because I was inspired by a podcast I was just on called Tea with Stee. And so I did that, I'm recording it again. Um, And today, we're just going to do it again. So uh, today, we're going to be talking about why people tend to freak out and or at least panic and what happens in your mind when you do that. Everybody is trying to um, keep everything together these days. And we've had a couple guests on lately. uh, Donald Miller specifically was talking about Um, you know, what our responsibilities are in this time, and that's to pivot, to understand that this is going to make us better. It's our job to figure out why. And that all that is a lot of work. Making things happen is a lot of work. Trying to work from home is a lot of work. Having kids home while you're trying to work from home, that's a lot of work. So today I wanted to take a step back and have a conversation that is not about making your marketing better or making your business better. It's about taking a second and understanding why you might be dealing with things the way you're dealing with them, reacting the way you're reacting with them. And I wanted to go back to uh, something called called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. And it is basically um, a thought process and a, a very clear example if you just imagine a pyramid and then on the base of the pyramid, the pyramid split up into five sections. So five, you know, starting at the bottom and then moving up till it's just the tip of the pyramid at the top. And it really gives us a framework to think of like how humans are wired to be able to pay attention to certain things. Uh, we recorded a big brand workshop and we 
built a, a little bit of a framework around understanding why you can connect your brand and marketing and messaging based on people's actual needs. Um, we use this pyramid and I think it's a good pyramid again to use as an example today. So when, let me explain, I'll, overarching concept, I'll explain it quickly. On the very, very bottom, the most basic needs. So these are physiological needs like food, water, shelter, sleep, clothing, um, things like that. Things you absolutely have to do to survive are primal. That is when you revert down to your most primal, like when you see society totally fall apart, everyone's fighting over these physiological needs, air, water, food, shelter. And when you don't have any of these things, you go into like really survival mode, panic mode, do anything it takes to get these things mode. Now, next thing just above that, so that's physiological needs, first one. Next one is safety needs. Now, these are things like personal security, um, resources, employment, health. But I want to focus on employment because that is just above all the physiological needs. These are safety needs because our employment is what gives us um, security. It's what actually we use to provide all those physiological needs. And thought leader Seth Godin, you know, he says... Um, we revert to our lizard brain, which is the primal, kind of the primal thinking, getting down to these physiological needs, even when our employment's threatened. He says, even if like somebody, uh, your boss says, hey, I need to talk to you for a few minutes at the end of the day. What does that trigger in your mind? It triggers, oh my gosh, I did something wrong. I don't know about, I wasn't good enough. I'm going to get fired. And when I get fired, I'm going to go home and not be able to pay for my house. I'm going to lose my house. I'm going to be homeless, not going to be able to buy any food. I'm not going to have a home. I'm going to die. And that all started with, hey, can I talk to you at the end of the day? Right? And maybe, I don't know, your boss wants to invite you to a game. Let's go to the basketball game. You don't know. But that panic and that fear that sets in gets you there. So first level, physiological needs. Second level, safety needs, which includes employment. The next level up is love and belonging. And this is like friendship, intimacy, family, a sense of connection. The next one up is esteem. So it's like self-respect, um, getting status or recognition, having the freedom to do the things that you want to do, right? Because you're not um, having to do all the other things to provide yourself safety and physio physiological needs, provide for family. Now you have a little bit of freedom to, to do things. Um, very top of the pyramid is self-actualization. And this is having time to think about becoming, like fulfilling your potential and developing yourself and your skills and what could I be, right? And so if you think all the way up from the basic survival needs of I need air, water, all the way up to like, let me think about what, what could I actually be, right? The, the delta between those two things is very broad. And it's very simple, I think, for you to understand that you can only think about the higher level things on the pyramid once the lower level things are in place. Thank you so much for paying attention. Thank you so much for being a part of this podcast, this community. I hope that you will take this and you will encourage one other person. I hope you take this perspective and share it with one other person today, whether that's digitally in social media or if it's directly and encourage someone, give them a little clarity, a little perspective that things are going to be okay and that uh, encourage them to think one level up on that pyramid. Let's think about con connection. Let's think about um, respect. Let's think about what it is that we actually could be on our way through this situation. I hope you have a great week. As always, I'm here for you. Let me know if you need anything and I'll talk to you soon. Yeah.